Welcome to the Team AGV product guides. I'm going to run you through some of the features and specifications of the AGV GT Veloce. The GT Veloce is AGV's premium sports touring helmet. Designed at the same time as the Pista GP and the Corsa racing helmets, the GT Veloce has been designed with what we call AGV standards. That's where the helmet is designed around the human head. So AGV actually designed the helmet from the inside out rather from the outside in. Because of that, the GT Veloce is available with four different shell sizes. What that means is as your head gets bigger, the actual helmet gets bigger itself. So if you're riding with an extra small, if you've got a small head, the helmet's going to be nice and petite. And if you've got an extra large, if you've got a bigger head, the helmet's still going to be very, very comfortable because you've got the same thickness of inner materials as you would on any other size. So there's no compromise on the extreme end of the size range on the GT Veloce. Now we said it's been developed at the same time as the Pista GP and shares a number of really important features with that helmet. First of all is the ventilation system. The GT Veloce is unique in sports touring helmets having a race developed ventilation system. It means the helmet's going to flow a massive amount of air, which is really important if you're touring, especially in hot conditions. So the first thing you'll notice is on the front of the helmet here, you've got three massive air intakes. They're built with what's called AGV's integrated ventilation system. That's where you've got the channels hollowed directly in the inner shell into the EPS itself and two large channels in the outer shell. The helmet flows a massive amount of air. Very easy to switch the vents, very positive open enclosure, and really importantly, you've got this middle vent here. This has actually been designed to be at the point of highest pressure of the front of the helmet. So this small middle vent actually flows a massive amount of air and really increases the ventilation over just having the two side vents. It also means you can tune the ventilation. For example, you can have both side vents shut and the front vent, middle vent open, or you can have the middle vents open and the front vent shut. So you can really customize the ventilation when you're riding along to get it just right. On the rear of the helmet, you've got two large extractors to take all the hot air away from the back of the head. And you'll see this aerodynamic lip at the back of the helmet. This has been specifically designed to break the airflow off the back of the helmet. So when you're riding, it really reduces noise and reduces turbulence. So the helmet's incredibly stable, even at high speed. So constant high motorway speeds, the Veloce is gonna be very, very comfortable to wear. That's also matched in with an aerodynamically designed chin bar. That's the biggest difference you'll notice when you look at either the Pista or the Corsa, they've got a much more aggressive sports style chin bar, but the Veloce has been designed with a flatter chin bar. So it helps the stability on a bike with a higher screen or no screen at all. The other thing you'll see that's the same as on the Pista and the Corsa is the visor system. It's a brand new system developed from AGV and it's really clever. It's got some really useful features for road riding. The first of which is the fact that the visor is actually locked in place when you shut it. So at the moment, the visor is in the closed position. We can't actually lift it up. It's completely locked down. So to open the visor, all you need to do is press that button in at the front and with your finger, lift up. Now, what is on there as well, which is very useful when you're road riding, is the fact you can have that visor locked in a slightly open position. So the first click when you shut the visor means the visor is still locked but it's locked slightly open, so it flows air up inside the visor. Now the GT Veloce comes with a pin lock ready visor and the pin lock in the box, so you've got no problems with the visor fogging up. It also comes with tear off posts on the outside, so if you do want to do track days or some sports riding with this helmet, you can put tear offs on no problem. So quite unique in the fact you've got a pin lock and the option to use tear offs. Now, to open the visor, just pull it all the way up, so very easy to use. What you will see though is this visor is on a rotation lock. So as you pull the visor shut and pull it in tight, the mechanism itself actually pulls the visor into the visor seal. So you get a very, very positive seal against the helmet. So you don't get any wind noise from air coming down inside the visor. And it also stops any rain or water running down inside the visor if you're riding in wet conditions. Now, I'm gonna take the visor off to show you some really cool features, but at the same time, I'm gonna show you how to take the visor off. So to remove the visor, First of all, put it in the fully open position and then pull this wing down and lift it off. Show you the same on the other side. Just pull the wing down and lift the visor off. Now, when the visor's off, you can actually see the mechanism itself is on the visor, not on the helmet. It's an all metal mechanism and it's an all metal base plate on the helmet. So when it's on, it's a very positive closure, it minimizes the risk of the visor ever coming off and it locks it in place. So very, very clever visor system. Now also the visor itself is 3.3 millimeters thick. It's a very, very thick polycarbonate visor with grade A optical clarity. So very, very clear to look through and being so thick, it reduces the risk of any injury of any foreign debris 
flying into the visor when you're riding along. So for high speed sports touring, again, very important feature. So to put the visor back on, all you do is pull the wing down, locate the visor back over the rotor lock hinge and push the wing back up. I'll just move it around so you can see again. So pull the wing down, locate the visor, push it back up. That's the visor refitted. Very, very simple and easy system to use. And then just push it down and double click and that's the visor in the lock position. Now, moving on to the inside, as well as all the cool features on the outside of the helmet, the GT Veloce has got some mega features on the inside, exactly the same as the Pista GP and the Corsa. What I want to do is just pull up the lining system removed from the helmet so I can actually demonstrate what you can do with the GT Veloce on the inside. Now, the fully removable head lining has got a really, really unique feature, what we call the rabbit's ear system. You'll see these two bands that run across the top of the helmet can actually be adjusted. Now, they're held in with Velcro and can be moved to a fully open or the fully closed position which comes standard on the helmet. Now, what this does is completely change the shape of the internals of the helmet and how it feels when it's on. You've got a massive range of adjustments, so you can play with the helmet when you've got it on to get it perfectly fitted to the shape of your head. When you have those rabbit's ears in the open position like this, what it does is allow your head to sit slightly back inside the helmet and it's going to raise, or sorry, it's going to lower the helmet down on your head. So it's going to move the cheek pads forward and down slightly. In the middle position, obviously you've got more padding across the back of your head, which is then going to pull the helmet slightly up and make the cheek pads a little bit tighter. Now to further increase the adjustability, you'll see in the back of the headlining here, you've got a pocket. Now, in with the instructions with the helmet, you'll get a half moon shaped piece of foam. This piece of foam can be inserted into the pocket at the back. And what that does is tighten up the helmet and again changes the shape. So that's going to pull the helmet tighter on the cheek pads and give you more padding around the back of your head at the top of your neck. So completely adjustable. Finally, for even more adjustment, you've got these four extra thick foam discs. Now, you can take those out and that's actually we're going to reduce some of the pressure on that part of the helmet and actually lower it down. So, if you take the two discs out of the front, that's going to allow the front of the helmet to sit slightly lower on your head and take a little bit of pressure off just above the forehead area. Conversely, the two discs on the back, you can take those out and remove some of the pressure from the back of the head. So you can really fine tune the fit of the GT Veloce. It's something that means once you've got the helmet home, you've tried it on in the shop, you've got the right size, when you start riding, you can get it absolutely perfect. It's really important with the Veloce. It's a very, very clever system. The other thing you'll notice on the headlining is there's absolutely no stitching at all. It's made of one piece of foam. So very, very comfortable against the head. There's just one seam down the back which is hidden away. So very, very comfortable for long distance riding and lots of holes through the front to help with the ventilation to flow the air onto the forehead. Finally, the other thing you can do is on the cheek pads, this is the cheek pads as they come out of the helmet, you'll see here a little slit in the lining. Now, you'll have a little gap in there for your ears. What you can then do is insert these pieces of foam which come with the helmet in to fill that gap. It'll give you a bit more pressure around the ears and make the helmet feel a little bit more racy. And again, it gives you a massive amount of customizability and means you can completely alter the fit of the helmet to get it just right for yourself. So that's the GT Veloce in brief. To find out the full specification and to find your nearest dealer, please head over to agv.co.uk.